Hello guys, this is the Angry Casual Gamer here. Today we're going to play Street Fighter 2, an extremely important game in the fighting scene. Um, when I was a kid, um, you know, the 80s more or less, um, 80s, 90s, beginning of the 90s, um, there were a lot of fighting games. The thing is, Street Fighter 2 really was a revolution back then because you know the animations, the movements, you know, and the 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 tricks the characters did back then were really revolutionary. And this game took the world by storm. You know, I was immediately hooked as soon as I saw it. So let's play it a little bit and you know analyze it. The character I chose is what uh, is usually called a Shoto. Um, that's the name people gave to them because initially in the lore uh, Ryu and his um, rival they studied under the same master, uh, it's probably Scan. They um, first were would practice Shotokan Karate, so the name stuck. Nowadays it's you know completely different style and honestly I I agree with the decision because I mean Shokugan Karate is a classic a classic style, a classic style of Japanese karate, but it, it has nothing to do with what Ryu and and can do. So honestly I think it's better more adequate um, because Ryu and Ken they practice a very specific style so um, the change is adequate. Um, Ryu is the main character from the series. Um, in Street Fighter 1, Street Fighter 1 is extremely basic compared to this one, um, he defeated the champion. The champion was Sagat, this Muay Thai world champion. Uh, really tall, really strong guy. He defeated him. Damn it. And by doing so, um, he used the Dragon Punch. This is exactly the move I did just uh, just it now. Um, and. He gave him a really nasty scar on his chest, and Sagat, you know, became crazy with revenge, and its its only objective uh, on its mind was to find Ryu and defeat him again. Um, the thing is, Ryu was able to defeat him because, you know, people's suspicions is that he also has the Dark Ado just like Akuma. Akuma is a, 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 a named cookie in Japan. It's another character um, that uh, was a secret fighter in... I don't know if, if already in this normal standard version of Street Fighter or it just appeared in another one. I believe at least in in Super Street Fighter Turbo, I played it on PC when I was a kid. Um, a good fight against Akuma. You know, you had to really fight hard, you know, really had some perfects and things like that um, to actually be able to fight him. Um, it was really, really hard. And Akuma was. Um, I, I believe. The, the lore says he, he, he was the the brother of uh, Ryu and Ken's master, but uh, you know, before in a certain point, I think it was you know another student, whatever. Um, Akuma felt this really strong, really dark power called the Dark Huddle, and uh, he started using it and embracing it, and. Um, Eventually, he got so consumed by it that the power started to change him physically. Um, and it is said that Ryu is actually his son. So, um, in that 
specific fight that it's really me hard long fight um, Ryu kind of used the Dark Ado without knowing it it was the first time the Dark Ado was revealed to him so um, ever since then Ryu has actually been training as a way to, to, to control his power to control the Dark Ado And he has, you know, this, these encounters uh, with Akuma from time to time, and Akuma is always trying to pull him to this, you no know, dark Hado side, and Ryu is always trying to resist. He wants to, you know, be the best fighter, but on his terms. This one you're, you're fighting now, it's Ken, it's Ryu's rival. Just look at his gi, at his, at his fighting equipment. It's really, really close to reuse and his techniques also. But there are some, some actual differences. Uh, Ryu has more power in his fireball, and Ken has more power in his dragon punch. Usually, when Ken does the, you know, the spinning kick. The Tatsumaki Senbukiyako, how it is called. Um, it can hit an opponent m multiple times, while Ryu only can hit one single time and immediately, you know, throws his opponent away. I don't know if that characteristic in Ken started this Street Fighter or it came, you know, next on the next version or whatever. Um, Basically, the story from Street Fighter 2, the game in itself, not characters' lores, is that this evil guy called um, Bison, you know, in Europe and the United States, but in Japan uh, it has um, a different name. Um, this guy uh, leads an evil organization and he's trying to take control of the world, so. And he tries to, you know, to organize this fighting tournament to, as a way to collect energy from its participants, so he can use it in its evil plans. And I just lost the guest, Onda. Let me just focus a little bit here, because I don't feel like losing. Still wanted to show you guys, you know. Damn it! Honda is, you know, a pretty tough character. It's actually one of the characters I also like to play. You can be really, really strong if you know what you're doing. Whew, that was close. It's hard actually talking and playing at the same time. Um, so, as you can see, um, the characters actually move very well. The animations are very well done. You know, just look at this. It's not. No, very common to see animations like this. For example, SNK has re really nice animations, but you know, there's something missing um, compared to Street Fighter. I can t really, really tell you what it is. Oh, damn it, I lost. <laughs> I can't really tell you what it is. SNK, you know, New Geo games, King of Fighters. Well, not King of Fighters. Um, I meant the previous games, you know, the um, the art of fighting games, the um, the fighting, the you know, the Garou Mark of the Wolves games. Uh, I mean, those already had some really nice movements, but you know, previous games from from this era just didn't cut it as Street Fighter did. And many of them improved because of Street Fighter. Street Fighter made them improve. 
damage. Oh, I'm losing so much. Whoa. I think Honda is a little bit tougher than I remembered him to be. Um, So let's see if this time around I can defeat Honda. You know, you gotta remember that um, these kind of games were made to be played on arcades, so the objective was to, you know, people spend money on them. This was a really, a, a really common business back then, you know, and it could be very lucrative. Um, usually in the arcades, the owners would increase the difficulty, so uh, uh, people would need to spend more time, more money, more money on their arcades to um, so they can win more money, basically, because they had to pay their you know their expenses general the month, you know, electricity bills, you know, pay their houses, feed their kids, whatever. This was a very common job back then, and machines were really expensive, you know, you just need to look at them right now, if you want to build one, you still pay uh, a nice sum of money. Whoa! A fireball! Did you see that? Occasionally, Ryu throws a fireball. I don't know how he's done it occasionally, but he throws this fireball. No, it's actually uh, called Fireball. I won. It was close, but I won. Okay? Don't judge. You really have to play play carefully against certain characters. Because some of them are harder than others. Damn it. Um, this one here with the crazy hair, this one is Guile. Uh, he's a, you know, an army uh, special forces guy and he's actually um, trying to get Bison and arrest him. Um, later you learn that in other games that um, a guy that was also from the army, uh, Charlie, was caught by Bison and uh, he was supposedly killed even though later he, he shows up um, and Gal is no slouch for for uh, many reasons throughout some games he is considered um, a top tier character you know for you to play because if you really know how to play with him he's very 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 good you really need to be extremely careful with him. Be extremely careful when he's down, because if you jump at him, he will he will get you. If you jump at him, he will get you. He does that spinning kick thing in the air. This is starting to get a little hard here, so, uh, you know, I'll try to reach the end of the game if I can. You know, this is a really competitive game. It's really well done, although it had some, in some instances, some 
bugs, you know, some games. Um, for example, I, I, yeah, I remember this time on PC when I used Bison, you know, just uh, attacking Fierce Kick below. Um, I could enter this endless, endless, you know, spawn of attacks that the enemies couldn't get out from. So it. Um, not only Street Fighter as this kind of, you know, it's not really a bug, it's the thing. Um, previously, the games weren't tested, you know, to be played competitively, and now they are, and every character has to be extremely well balanced. The thing is that um, in those days, there were characters that were really, you know, overpowered compared to others. So. You really need to be careful. Damn it, this guy is playing very well. I'm going to die. Yeah. Now he's playing this. Damn it. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I'm running out. I lost. Damn it. I'm actually trying to. I'm going to be able to. Until the end. What? Did you see this? The guy was standing. And he was already capable of, you know, these things that the machine does, you know, just right on time to do, and you can never do. You see guy standing there and... Oh, damn it, I missed. Instant for two, timing ski. I mean, no fun games, timing ski. But there are some little quirks that if you don't know what to how to get around them, you're going to... Damn it. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Damn it, you really have to play this defense in your attacks. I don't remember this game being this hard, playing it on arcade or whatever. I mean, yeah, on the arcade, it was hard. Especially Bison, Bison is really, really, really hard. It's one of those cases of character that is, you know, overpowered. Games weren't made to be competitive back then, so... If you find the boss in a game you know, like this, it will be overpowered. Intentionally overpowered. Damn, she's really good. This is really good. Come on, jump in. No, 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 no. I got him. Kind of like Honda, actually. Let's see what I mean about being very strategic. <sighs> I don't really like this stage, but okay. I already missed one barrel, so... What the hell? What? Ah! If you miss one, you will miss more than one. Because it comes, the barrel comes rolling down, it hits you. And then it's another and another. Nah, damn it. Oh, Blank is not easy. You can actually hit him on the on the underside when he does that shock thing. But you need to be careful because if you're really close to him you'll also be shocked. This run was actually easy, but let's see the other one. The history with Blank is that uh, as a little kid, you know, he, him and his parents were actually flying in an airplane and the airplane just fell in the jungle and uh, he was, you know, raised by wolves in a, a jungle in Brazil. That's why its country is Brazil. How does he do that? I didn't want to do this at all. Ah, damn it. See what I mean with Blanca being hard? 
You're winning and the next minute you're losing If you're not careful And the thing is, is attack with the leg, you know Fierce attack on the, on the bottom, it's really 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 long Damage I don't have a chance right now, I'm going to lose with this guy He <sighs> timed his attack well I lost I usually get into the end without losing so and I've already lost 5 or 6 or something like that. Damn it. And it's really easy to get dizzy, if you know what I mean. Oh, damn it, you got me. No, 2 or 3 fierce, fierce moves and piercing stars, basically. Damn it. Damn it. Why? Why wasn't you pushed back when I did the very much? You know, it's those things that you can't really understand. Damn it, it's so fast. You have to be careful playing against Manga. Oh, Damn it again! Usually the first round you can get him. The problem is, you have one. Give me next. And if you lose, third one. Yes, I got him. Classic technique, the Dragon Punch, the Shoryuken. I think I still have, you know... Oh, now the bosses, okay. Sub-bosses, I mean. Okay. This one is a boxer. Uh, it's called Balrog. I believe that in the Japanese version is called Vega. I believe. You know, because he's playing in Las Vegas. Damn it! No, no, no! His punches are real strong. To be careful. That was tense. These guys, I mean, the sub-bosses, you know, this boxer and the other that's coming next, including Sagat, are actually working for Shadowloo. For Bison, I mean. Including Sagat, you know, the great fighter, the boss from the first one. Because he's so consumed with rage and revenge, that at all costs he wants to meet Ryu again so he can defeat him. So the guy starts kind of of losing his mind, you know, going bad. Only in subsequent Street Fighters, the guy actually starts to come to senses. Spain. Okay. This one is kind of like of a ninja, it's really fast. And because of that, it, it becomes, you know, a little bit hard to play against them. You really need to be careful. He jumps a lot. And he tries to take you to those nets. Uh, uh, I mean, he tries to jump to the nets so he can take you. And, and when he's in the nets, it's actually, you know, a little hard to, to avoid his, his blows. See how broken it is? He just did, you know, a fierce, a fierce like blow uh, on the bottom. And I couldn't get him. He got out much faster than I could. Damn it. You should see how, how fast he is. It's so hard, you know, to beat him like this. Whoa. Yes. 
this one was actually easier than previous ones and they were not bosses he must defeat Shang Long to stand on sense unless you don't know who Shang Long is damn it I just burned myself Well, I did it. I mean, if I'm going into Dragon Ball, Shen, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's Shang Long or Shen Long. Well, this one is hard, so I'll try to concentrate. Damn it! I'm already taking a beating. Oh, perfect, perfect, no. perfect, no. This one is the boss I was telling you about, Sagat, the boss from the first one, you know, with the eye patch and the huge scar on his chest. And his fireballs are actually so much faster than mine. It's amazing. In the next Street Fighter 2s, there are actually a lot of them. You can play as Sagat and the Spies and Vega, Balrog, whatever. So let's try to defeat him. This guy is from from Thailand, full of scars, you know, this big bad warrior. His entire life, you know, he's focused on being the best, and here comes this kid called Ryu that out of nothing pulls this amazing technique, this dragon punch, and defeats the king. So, how do you think he felt? Of course, he didn't like it, but he fell into disgrace. That's the thing. Damage. Yeah, he's fireballs, both standing and kneeling down, so it's not easy. Ah, damn it! See, what is that stone fireball? It's really dangerous. He's jumping in. And he's so quick, so fast. Oh, oh, damn it! Oh, that was really not well played. Do we have to guess what he's going to do next? I actually guess what he's going to do, but I don't know what. I wasn't going to. Let's try to do it, shall we? No, I bet Muay Thai big guy. Just, no, little shorts. This round is usually doable. Usually. Usually. Not always. This guy is the last before the last. So he's actually hard. Probably hard. Because the boss should be a little hard. So your boss was the previous boss, so... Let's see if I get lucky. Damn it, I missed the fireball. Oh, one more right knockout. One more knockout. He's timing me. Damn it. Yes, I did it. He was spamming me, did you see that? I don't remember this tree in front of me on other versions. You know, that's why I like playing the arcade originals. Oh, here comes the boss now. His appearance actually changed a lot lately. Don't mess around with this guy, he's really dangerous. Damn it. Oh. See that slide? Very careful with that slide. Luckily, I won. This guy Bison is what it calls in history, you know, the psycho power that allows allows him to throw himself just, you know, like if he was a fireball and almost fly in the air. It's really dangerous, you know. Did you see the hand that was the psycho power? 
see how dangerous he is. Very dangerous. He's a really strong dude. Damn it! Two times, three times. Oh, and I'm already KO'd. Oh, I tried to punch him. <sighs> it looked easy on the first one, but it's not. Believe me. Get loose, not get lost. Get loose. Get loose, you can't get with my powers. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I want to defeat you, okay? So please do me the favor. Damn it. Wow. Damn it. I was standing. That was close. Damn it! Got it. And now this is the end. They played like this was only a tournament, and but it's much more than that. Um, Ryu, the logic behind this is that Ryu, being a wanderer, um, doesn't care about ceremonies. He only cares about the fight as a way to, you know. To evolve, you know, to grow not only as a fighter but as a as a person. Uh, here, yes, that's it. And you now just walks into the sunset. The fight is all. So is now looking for his next challenge. And that is actually Street Fighter 3. Maybe in another time. Guys, thank you for staying with me until the end. I hope you liked it. Um, see you around. Until next time. Bye.